find myself in constant need of motion backgrounds. And the thing is, when I use the background once, it's not a good thing for me to use it again. So I try to, when I have time, to just sit and play with different things inside PowerDirector. I use still in images, uh, I use transparency, saturation, and uh, sometimes I find an old clip and put it in the motion and play again with saturation, scale and opacity. So I'm going to show you a few things that I do uh, inside PowerDirector to make the motion backgrounds. Uh, sometimes I need a more corporate style and sometimes I need a more fluent style and hopefully this will give you some ideas. There's one image here. The one got made to three inside a photo editor just adjusting saturation, brightness and contrast. Imported into PowerDirector and Timeline You'll see the brightest image is used twice, the mid-tone saturated is used once, and the darkest again twice. In PIP Designer, the images are worked on by scale, movement, opacity and freeform. In preview, it now looks like this. From the same images, you can make a lower third as a PNG file if needed. If you want a different tone, you can always go back to PIP Designer and overlay an image again to adjust color and tone. Preview now looks like this. All we need now is perhaps a logo. If you don't have one, there are online sites which allows you to make one. Apply a simple fade in and fade out and that's really it. So I will use a bit of uh, food stuff here, some uh, oil and some soy sauce and stuff used when you bake, that's a color for baking. You have this nice sunlight at the edge of the bowl, so I'm trying to get a few photo shots of that. Photo taken in early morning sunlight, almost straight at the sun. This is ideal as a starting point. One can utilize an image like this many times over. Just by moving the saturation slider gives effect. And if you have a photo editor which supports overlays, be it gradients or not, the effect variations broadens even more. Different areas of the photo can give different possibilities. And from a different angle, the same tree and light gave different options. 
Increasing saturation gives a feeling of a thousand tiny light bulbs. If one should want to make a bokeh, here is the material. A small leaf clinging onto its branch on a November morning. And this is what came out of the two photos so far. So what can be done with them in PD? Here's an example. A couple of yellow dots on a PNG file is added. And you can also, maybe, spot the bowl photo in there. <laughs> 